have like free Google Meet recordings. This is really good radio, by the way. I know. This is <laughs> fascinating. Wait, can I hear it? I'm not even it. on the. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> uh, don't chairs, swear. You go. can't swear. What if they're lyrics? You can't swear. Wait, actually. Yeah, you actually can. I mean, you're not supposed to, but I don't think, like, the stakes are not that high here. Um, where, where, oh, Wi-Fi password. Okay, KXSF. Um, but, you know, Wi-Fi password is... Alright, I, I heard a really fun song today, so I'm going to play that as a little intro, except I don't I don't know. I can't even find the aux cable right now. What a mess. Ah, there you are. What an absolute mess. Arjun. Arjun, Arjun, welcome into the studio. Why don't you grab the mic and you can uh, introduce yourself as well. Arjun, did you have anybody, do you have your laptop on you? I do not. Oh my it's god. It's fine, it's fine. In this I do want to hear how it sounds though. Alright. Where I, I can't find the aux cable for what the need light. need a laptop for? I just want to, I want just it to be recorded. Record. Record. Uh, I was thinking about using it for like so far sounds or something. Damn. Like, what, should, what is so far sounds? You've never been? No, is it a yeah, festival? what it is. So Far Sounds is like, they do these pop-up uh, music shows, so you go and you uh, sign up for a ticket online, and they tell you the location like the day of. It's usually like local, random artists. They're open mics? Three people. Uh, you like send an application as an artist. It's a bit more formal. Wait, yeah. what in the world is this? It's really good. It's is good. it local? It's lo it's, no, yeah, it's, it's everywhere. It's around the world. So like, I, yeah. I, I, like, I'm moving Wait, to New I York. Wait, I'm 100% sure. Yeah, and I want to do it there too. So like, if I was staying here, I'd try to do it here, but I'm gonna try and do it there. Fine. So, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you should be on the internet. I. Whoa. Yeah. This is amazing. This is the. Wait, I thought this was radio. It's a little bit of both. All right, Arjun, why don't you introduce yourself and let us know what the people. I mean, introduce yourself to me because I don't know. Can we also get Arjun another set of headphones? Yeah, yeah. I see a pair here. Plug in. You can. You should be able to plug in. Um. Just put, put it into one of these and see if it works. Yeah. Just uh, I'll, I'll, I'll plug, plug it into that third gold thing. Is gold it thing. Is this the audio input? No, this is stereo. I'm about to. I'm about to put it yeah, in my Yeah, I can hear out of one ear. And speak yes. into the beautiful mic. Let Hi, the world know your voice. <laughs> this is Arjun here. Uh, I was invited here by Richie to play some percussion uh, while he sings with his wonderful voice and plays the guitar. Guess who figured out how to plug in the aux? Is it Sage yes. Song? Is it yeah. DJ Content Monitor? DJ, DJ Content Monitor! <laughs> in the house, in the house. And guess whose email for code review wasn't sent? Ah. Also, is it DJ, DJ Content Monitor? Would you believe it that it was also DJ Content Monitor? Wow. Okay, could, could How's my sound? How, okay, perfect. Alright, let's uh... Just like, it's like a space here. Alright, All right, Arjun, you can introduce yourself. Anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you um, gotta give us a spiel. I don't, I don't know you either. My spiel? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I'm a drummer, a percussionist. Mm -hmm. Been living in SF for about like two and a half years. Uh -huh. And why did you move to SF? I moved here just after graduating from college. Where did you go to school? Cal Poly, San Jose Cal Obispo. No kidding, Cal Poly slow. Yeah. Thick. All right, great. Yeah, yeah. Great engineering school. Studied architecture there. Oh. So I'm okay. working at an architecture interior design firm here. Is it in Side Eye? Yeah, it is. Oh no, is it like is it near all the like arch you know the architecture bookstore? The architecture bookstore. There's an architecture bookstore like up the block from me. Is there a reason all the architecture firms are in Side Eye? Um, uh, I mean that's just like the main like that. business center. Like yeah. a lot of our clients are, uh, I don't know, tech companies. What kind of projects do you work on? Uh, we do a lot of like office interiors and then also some light industrial projects as well. So, light industrial. Yeah, projects. so we refurbish like existing warehouse spaces too. Oh, like what? Um, one project. Actually, I don't know how much I can talk about this. Uh, <laughs> On the air. I guess it, I'll, I'll say it is by the piers, and we're refurbishing a warehouse for like be maintaining vehicles. Maintaining vehicles? Yeah, like a, ve like a vehicle fun. maintenance facility. Okay, what's your favorite, uh, architecturally, what's your favorite musical venue in San Francisco? Architecturally. Ooh, ooh okay. Ooh, I really love one. the Fillmore. The Fillmore? Yeah, yeah I feel like that's just like, it's got so much like historical value. Did they give you an apple? Uh, did you go to a show? That's, they, I haven't gotten that since post COVID. Like I got that pre COVID. They don't give, they don't give but post COVID, time? no more apples. They give out like literal apples to people. Like yeah. that's like fruit. been a thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, like every single person. Much. Yeah. You got yeah. A, a, a Granny Smith or whatever. I got no a gallon. Gallon. 
All right. Anyway, so what you you like the film more? What did you see at the film? Yeah, the, the first film show more? I saw there was a Britney Howard concert. Who's Britney Howard? Britney Howard. If you know Alabama Shakes. Oh was, yes, I do. Yeah, know yeah, Alabama yeah. Shakes. <clears throat> uh, Sound and Color. Yes. Let's play Sound and Color. How about that? Is that a nice uh, intro intro to, for everyone? Sure. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right. We are going to play Sound and Color. You're listening to the Soy Milk Variety Hour with special guests. Jack. Richie. And Arjun. And Arjun. All right. Sound and Color by the Alabama Shakes. Are we off? Oh, my sound. No, my sound is muted. All right, Richie. Oh, your sound is for a week. Uh, I don't know. I wish. Oh, there you go. Can you hear it? Is it coming through? Yeah, I hear you now. Not, not the music. No, no, no but the, is the music coming through? Not music. The, the, the music's not coming through? Uh, let's, let me figure out what that could be. The music's not coming through at all? Not that I can hear. You uh, can? Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, a little. Oh, maybe it's just low? Is it? Alright, don't, don't let me blow out here. Can you hear it? I can hear you. I'm sorry, but you said you made this make sense, but uh, Oh, I, I figured it out. It was the wrong aux mixer. Classic. Are we going to I sang Yang's poem that he wrote while tripping acid, while I, no, while tripping shrooms, while I was peaking shrooms, too. Oh, baby. I, I could sing a poem. That's fucking awesome. I got some riffs in mind. Let's see if I can hear it. Let's see if I can hear it. Let's see if I can hear it. Oh, right. dude, can you cover Build the Wall? Oh. Have you heard this uh, song? It's, it's from Hades Town, the music. I, I could do a live version of me I figuring it out. Actually, I don't think you should see it. Okay. But build like. The wall. Okay, there's this. Oh, Bill, oh, it's literally Build the Wall. It's called Build the oh. Wall. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to hear my dad's. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I want to hear it. He song. calls it. Don't, in, don't spoil it, yeah. I, I don't. Hear it I mean, I kind of have to read through it to get the, the rhythm down, too. He calls it Inside the Trump. The J6 committee dispensing a picture not so pretty. President Trump was on the plan to confuse the public and take over the land. Repeat the lies so all can hear, and that's what he did so loud and clear. Oh my god. He just, he just wrote this and sent it to you? Yeah. He wrote it and sent it to like our extended family group chat. Interesting. Get the states to change their outcome. Find any Throw out the votes. Add up a new song. Mm -hmm. Have cells act to sleep or secret meetings. Yeah. Or I could play original music that I've written. You know, it's also a lot. It's the music part I'm going to leave. Oh, okay. 
Am I just playing into this mic? I think that's it, yeah. I think we're just gonna put it like right here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Through the door, there should be some. This room's insane. How did you get on this? Just volunteer. Huh? Volunteer. Volunteer. I, I was looking for free Hungry Jacks tickets and they had it like advertised, and I was like, oh, this is good. <coughs> really? Like open slot, come be on the radio? No, no, it was, no, no. They were advertising Hungry Jacks and I looked into it and it was like there was a sign up process. But there's like, there's beef. There's CG, where's the. I don't know. There, I'm, I'm just assuming there'll be water somewhere over there. Uh, it's, a oh, huge, it's a huge, like, there's, there's no like, real answer to your question. Cement Octopus by Malvina Reynolds. It's about the building of the I-280 through San Francisco. It's covered by Pete Seeger afterward. Um, and before that, Sounding Color by the Alabama Shakes. We've got Richie, uh, what up, what a local up? musician. Uh, local musician Richie. Jack, can you test the mic? Can you talk into that one? Just tap it. Hello. This is Jack testing oh, the mic. Tap, tap, tap it again. Tap, 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 like that raven. Tap, tap, tap. Talking to it like straight into it. Um, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I can hear me. I can hear me too. Good. Yeah. Testing, testing, the, yeah. testing. This one's okay. not. This one's not on. Okay, so that one. As long as I hear my heart, can you, can you still hear him? I can hear him. Yeah. Still? Yeah. Are you sure it's not just? I, I, I'm sure. No, it's no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's one, two, and two. Wait, is there a fourth microphone? Can you find one? <laughs> You're the one who works here. <laughs> well, I'm not good at it. Um, All right, anyway, so, yeah. Jack, um, once the music starts, I think we're going to pass mic three on to Mr. Richie. Of course, of course, yeah. But, sure. uh, Richie, what, what do we have in store today? Do you want to um, tell us about your musical influences for the uh, uh, Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So, I've been playing guitar for quite a while. Uh, pretty much got into like singing and songwriting during the pandemic and yeah definitely a big outlet for like therapy and everything and you can definitely tell if you listen to like the lyrics that I have it's like snapshots of where I am mentally at that time and I have tons of stuff that's like I mean all, the, all these things are like notes that I write to myself that just I feel like I don't know singing sometimes and then becomes a song so I have a few things that I've written like that that I thought would be fun to share uh, and I can start off with one that I, the first one I wrote, first song I ever wrote, um, it's called Familiar Face. It's very much like what you'd expect from like someone stuck in quarantine for a few months and like trying to work on his like mental health and all that stuff. I think, uh, I think that comes through. So, yeah, right. Familiar Face by Richie on KXSF. Thank you. 
Can you hear White ceiling fan, the feeling that I felt back then. Never had to worry about a thing. The time moved on and I moved out, still figuring what life's about. Treading water just so I don't sink. See my reflection and some red eyes stare right back at me. Could be high, crying and tired. I lack the ability to know what all of my emotions wanna communicate. I never worked on this relationship with my familiar face. Started changing scenes like changing clothes. Trying hard to break the mold Constantly averting my own gaze but Time moved on and I moved out Still figuring what life's about Driving water just so I don't see See my reflection and some red eyes Stare right back at me Could be high, probably drunk I lack stability Starting to guess what my emotions wanna communicate. It's tough to work on this relationship with my familiar face. Now caged up all day and night, chrome plated lock, no key in sight. Nothing to distract priority. Time to build a bond with me. Your own I'm looking in the mirror. Uh -huh. See my reflection. See red eyes. See my reflection, and some red eyes stare right back at me. Uh, it could be high, eyes. crying, or tired, but uh -huh. I lack the ability to know what all of my emotions are trying to communicate. Emotions are trying to communicate. Uh, I never worked on this relationship with my own familiar face. Are there are there lyrics that you changed like that you over the course? So I should have pulled them up because I think I was muddling things a little bit, but that's what I was saying. Oh yeah, I change every verse to, every chorus, I go like, see my reflection in some red eyes, stare it back at me, and then it goes, at the end it's like, probably laugh until I cry, it's supposed to be like a little happier, uh -huh. and then it's like, um, 
I'll always work on this relationship with my own familiar face. Uh -huh. It also goes from like, yeah, it's, there's a lot. There's, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I spent, my brain was on this for a while. Yeah. Uh, it started off, it's fun like looking back and having like voice memos of like, I have this melody. <laughs> Then weeks later, I have me going like, dark blue walls, white ceiling fan, the feeling that I felt back then. And then, yeah, I don't know, it all just kind of, like, every song I've written, it, it's like, from start to finish, most of it, lyrics-wise, takes three days at most. Mm -hmm. Like, it all just kind of flows out and comes out when it's like, when it's ready, which is why, honestly, I haven't written anything for a while, I think. Because like, I, I've been, I've thing. been good. No, oh. I've been like mentally healthy. <laughs> yeah, like I have nothing to vent about. Oh. Like, even like moving to New York soon, I was trying to write a song about that, and I have some stuff, but like the ideas are just, it doesn't, it doesn't like force its way out as much as like this song did. Oh. This one like forced its way out. Well, well when in the visa was early pandemic. Like, this is October of 2020. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh, and like, you, you could look on my Instagram, you could look at my Instagram, and the week I wrote it, I posted it on my Instagram. Was I what? Were you looking at yourself a lot? Like, what no, was it was just like, was honestly, I did have this thought at one point, I think I wrote a note about it somewhere, like, damn, I'm getting high a lot lately. <laughs> like, oh, right, I'm looking right. in the mirror, my eyes are red. Right, right. And then, that turned into a song, because it's like, well, I guess like, maybe sometimes my eyes are red, because I'm crying, that's like the start of the song. Yeah. I don't know, drunk. Maybe like tired, could be high, crying, or tired, but I lack the ability to know what all of my emotions are trying to communicate. And then, so the initial version was acoustic. When did uh, when did Origin come into the picture? When we started jamming, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Or so. are there are there specific like per <laughs> percussively speaking of the things that you're working with here? Because I do think there's a very good there's a, there's a swell in the middle there. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of like feel you know it out. Song? I know the song. I, yeah. I've jammed on the song with him for a while, and like generally when playing with other musicians, does like trying to like. You know, like with a conversation, just kind of like read read the room, kind of yeah, like that's pick why up. We're, we're looking at each other a lot. Yeah, pick up on like where you want like there to be more energy, less energy, and then just kind of like go go with that. Do you um? This is like uh, uh might be out. Do you play like tabla at all? Do you play any like uh, any traditional percussion? No, I actually did take a murdangam lesson oh. when I was like a kid. Like very few like beginner lessons that never like went anywhere. Uh -huh. uh, Musically, like instrument-wise, I started on drum set, and then oh, picked a great up. drummer. How old Thank were you, you when you started playing drums? Playing drums, I was around like twelve or thirteen years old. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I took like took up hand percussion like later in high school, just like playing in band. A friend of mine was like a really good percussionist who like introduced me to the cajon, and then going to college, it was just like an easy <laughs> instrument. Can I, can I see the? Oh yeah. It's a big box. It is a box. What's the, uh, what does it say on there? Perk snare. I think this is like percussion, snare, so this is a snare cajon, it's got these like wires attached to the back. Oh, that gives us a snare drum. Can we, can we get a little, uh, little drum pack here? Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah. oh, he's got like foot feet things too? I didn't, I didn't bring my foot shaker, but I brought, oh, yeah. I brought my cajon brushes. So he can have like a cajon with yeah. like a foot pedal, like, like a hi-hat basically. He can have like a hi-hat on his foot. Can we, get, can, yeah. can we get like a full like, uh... Spread of the oh, the, like a full, a full like range of sounds, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So for, you, for the listeners at home, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Not uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you got like your two basic tones. You have a bass tone where you kind of hit Ooh, towards the center, nice okay. and then when you want like your snare, you okay. just snap the corners, Can and then like, like in between. Beat, like... <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> the the hi hat is like, and then and then you need to eight away. That's it. So just basically just like a like I don't know some kind of like. Yeah, yeah. and then you do it and then you do a snare on the two and the four. Yeah, 
Familiar face rank in terms of, in your opinion, in, uh, in Richie's repertoire. In Richie's repertoire, I think it's definitely like the most memorable one that I played with him. Okay, so yeah. you you started off strong. You started off with your big hits. Uh, I disagree though. <laughs> you disagree? Well, well okay. Well, 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 in my mind, it's like it has like the simplest format, the simplest structure. It's and like very is, simple. This is an early song. Like an early song in my brain. But also like I think the simplicity is is really like pretty. Yeah. Which I is why I love it. And like it's why like I didn't after I wrote this, I was like, damn, I should do that again. <laughs> like because I liked it. So this was your first you, top ten. Legitimately, this is my first full song that oh. I'd say I've ever written. Obviously I had like ideas that like I don't know, you know, every musician that plays on their instrument a lot has ideas all the time. So I have like, I have a lot, I've had a lot of ideas and I had like things like, I don't know, just things that never like came really as a full song. Right. And then this one, it was the lyrics coming out all at once where I was like, oh, I have all this material to fit a song under now. Right. Like really, they, like, it was just like I wrote one verse and then another one and then another one and then like a chorus and then I was like, wait, this is a whole song. And that's it. Right. So like, I don't know. It, but uh, the other stuff that I've written, I think, uh, also is really like m a lot of that other stuff is like even more personal. Mm -hmm. This is like kind of generic personal to me. Right. Like uh, you could, a lot of people could probably relate to this, which uh -huh. is another reason why I've maybe, maybe like people like it. As opposed to the other ones. Other ones, ones are very specific, but also I think like the specificity is relatable too, sure. because it's like, like. It's just so much more descriptive of like certain moments, mm -hmm. like referencing specific things from like a relationship, mm -hmm. like calling out things that like if you know, you'll recognize it and you'll like be like, oh wow, he's talking about that. Right, right. So like, there's a relatability there too, even if you don't know what I'm talking about. Where you're like, oh, he's writing about his life. Right, right. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I love I love every all all five. I'd say I have five. <laughs> Five full originals. I love all five equally. They're all my children. Yeah, and you said you wanted, yeah, you were thinking about doing covers too, or just? Did I you have some covers. Yeah. I mean, no, it's your set list, so I mean. I have some. I mean, I could fill up the time. I I want to get through like um, originals first, and right. then if we have time, I could do some covers and just jam with Arjun. Right. Honestly, uh, we did three hours of this the other week, so it's like we got a lot of stuff <laughs> to, yeah. that we could play. All right. And just make noise for. Well, one. what's the what's the second song? Uh, I guess this next one, uh, I'll go in order of how I wrote them. I got to start writing your songs and I don't remember them by name. <laughs> Me <neither. laughs> uh, dude, it's, it's tough. Keeping a list is tough. I, honestly, I keep a list of like everything I learned, but as I was going through this list last night, I realized I was missing like three songs that I play all the time that I learned like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. which is like, yeah. like how's that just missing for me? I keep lists too. For mostly, like, like <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll, I'll send you I think you should, don't do chronological, do machete order. I think Mach fans machete? What's yeah. machete? What's machete order? That's, isn't that like the, the Star Wars? Like what order to watch the Star Wars movies in? Oh, so this is that is that is the same order. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Like no, 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 no! Like for my song, it's like the emotional progress is gonna be. It's like tracked linearly by the songs. Oh, okay. What is machete order? I actually don't. I've though. never heard that. I don't know. You just say, just use, cut just the six Star Wars films in half and move one to the front. <laughs> no, no, no. There's like a specific order where it's like, 
six, four, one, three, seven. I don't know. I don't know the specific order. Is that spe- it's, it's only for Star Wars, though? Or it's a, uh, maybe it's a generalizable term. I've only heard it in terms of Star Wars, but I don't know the etymology of machete in this context. He doesn't even have six songs. He has five songs. <laughs> I, mean, I was making a joke. <laughs> it makes no sense. Also, oh, yeah. aren't the only good ones like four and five? Like, I don't know. I know it's like an edgy tape. I mean, I'm not a stan. I'm not a star stan. Yeah, but you're a you're Marvel you're you're stan. Like, That's a conversation for later. I'm not even arguing with those. All right, so what's up next, Richie? Uh, this one... <laughs> this one is... Uh, about... About someone that I... Had, like, somewhat of a relationship with, and then, like regretted how it ended and was basically writing a song whining and being like I'm sorry and so why did you why did you regret how it ended what was the, what was the... uh just it was a lot I think it was also partially COVID it was like this is also me and COVID, COVID having like <laughs> <laughs> no it ended like uh she doesn't live in San Francisco right so uh, was like I had just gotten out of a relationship from college right. because of distance. We broke up because I'm moving to San Francisco. Uh, like my ex is in New York City. Did you t- you had tried to make it work and then? Well, that one like we always were kind of like let's we did distance for like nine months at one point, and so we knew like when the distance was coming, uh-huh. that one was going to end. And then this one is like a girl that I met after moving here shortly, uh-huh. uh, shortly after moving here, right. and ended it because of distance. But then was like, sheesh, I, yeah. I, I felt like you had thrown, thrown, the thrown yeah, like I, I fumbled, definitely. What drew, what drew you to her initially? What was the, what was the, what was the honeymoon phase? Like, uh, I think like, I think like, I don't know, a lot of things, a lot of things. And like, uh, it's funny cause I have a lot of very specific references to like that relationship in this song. And even though, like, I definitely wouldn't say I'm, like, hung up about it anymore. It's been a long time. Uh, definitely been through a lot. This guy knows. Uh, <laughs> but when I, when I play this song, when I sing it, it's like I still can take myself back to that state of mind. And it's like, because I have these songs, like, even the first one that I played, from Your Face, I, it still just takes me back to how I was feeling back then. And it's like, it it's not, isn't just, like, a snapshot of, like, you know, chords notes, rhythm, lyrics, it's like emotion, for me, when I play it, it brings me back there emotionally, so, I, I mean, I'll just, I'll try my best, to yeah, do, do it right. justice, uh, it's what, changed, what was the song called again? This one, uh, I originally called it Back of My Mind, but I'm thinking about calling it Asked About You, uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can't call it Back of My Mind, we have a really iconic song called Back of My Mind, okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll probably call it ask, Asked About You oh, Asked About You today Asked About You, about you. Sage, you have a song called Asked About You Asked About You Ain't yeah. hey, no Stop cursing this is, uh, my title. <laughs> Yeah, you know Have they played this one with you? Potential. I'll recognize it when I hear it Is this a, a softer one? I got asked about you today It is very soft It's very no, soft okay, yeah. I'll do the con breakfast. Yeah, we'll, we'll try, we'll try. Alright, uh, so yeah, this is Back of my mind, aka ask about you. I don't know. I'll probably it'll probably do the parentheses thing where it's like the artist can't decide what they want. <laughs> it's back of you parentheses asked about back of my mind parentheses asked about my mind. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just I'll go for it. Yeah. I got asked about you today mm-hmm. Like a reminder that you couldn't stay mm-hmm. And I didn't know what to say Together at 180 degrees Stay 
my sheets, watch Comedy. Laughing about Bird Launch, Charlie Kelly. Oh, I was so happy with you. I didn't mean to say goodbye No, I, I pushed you in the back of my mind So please don't forget what we shared I foolishly suppressed Sorry, but it wasn't the best friend. I'll try not to hurt you again. No. This doesn't need to be the end of us. Now it's still always a surprise And an old friend has your name memorized A modern love story, I guess it was clear When I talk about you My eyes in allegory Cause me would know it's true How oh, I was so happy with you mm -hmm. Happy with you Because you Happy to All right, so uh, the name drop community and I'm not gonna like let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What uh, what community episodes are like more important to you? Uh, she's she's the one that introduced me to the show. She introduced you. Pretty to much you got me to watch Jack. Got already. me to watch the first episode. <laughs> Did you finish it? Yeah. Yeah. You no, I finished the show. Oh, yeah. Community. I watched yeah. all of Community. Like I've wa and I've rewatched a lot of seasons at this Did point. Did you show her Sunny? Um, who? I don't think so. I think she she already knew about she's like so TV, she's funnier TV than fiend she's yeah funnier. <laughs> yeah definitely definitely yeah but Sunny was like my thing for a while in college I loved it's always Sunny and then you you also pissed the sheets no <laughs> that's so you stained the sheets that, yeah that's 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 the thing that happens I guess oh. sheets get stained oh you know? not familiar I'm, uh, I'm not <laughs> do you need me to explain <laughs> <laughs> Um, Charlie Kelly also, you know, a very like musical guy. Yeah, Bird Law. Yeah, Bur I mean Bird Law too, but I think uh, <laughs> what's the guy's name? Charlie Day. Is yeah, like, Charlie really Day. Talented. Yeah, he is. Oh, I, I love him. Does he like have like albums and stuff? Well, on it's always sunny. He like has bits where he sings. Uh, he does a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. You, you haven't heard Nightman? Yeah. I've never. Wa I haven't watched like more than like, two episodes. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm gonna Wait, Nightman. you gotta watch the one where they're kicking people out of the bar and Charlie's like. All drugged up and like singing, like <laughs> like in the they start spitting on people. It's, like, it's, 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 it's always sunny. It's, it's, it's really always good. Sunny. All right, I'm gonna play that right now. We'll let everyone take a break. Yeah, and we're gonna play Nightman from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Ah, uh, Jerry. He works for beer and looks a little tangled up. Does he know anything about hooking up that electrical equipment? No. Okay, okay. okay. I'm ready to rock. And who are you supposed to be? Bob Dylan, man. Jesus Christ, well, check this out. Is this a page from a coloring book? No, dude, that's Nightman. Those are lyrics. Whatever. Let's just Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Yeehaw! All right. Uh, where's my curtain? Charlie, don't worry about the curtain. You're not going to be washing my face. You don't even want Go, Go have a beer, Ernie. All right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Nightman! Sneaky, me! Everyone's in the jeans and together. 
<laughs> okay, this is the wrong. This is the wrong. You gotta version. play. Because <laughs> there, no. there's a better one. That, what? You should play the theme song, right? It's the bar theme song, dude. That's there's the good one. The bar theme song? I'm not sure what it's called. I'll be honest. Damon, Nightman. Da, 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 I'm. Man. Uh, what? Look up. Is it not? No, it's not Nightman coming. Ma ma oh, maybe the song is called Dayman. <laughs> Dayman Sunny. Let me try this one. Yeah, I think this one, this one might be it. <laughs> maybe you should test it first. Uh, no, no, I'm just gonna watch this lingerie out first. <laughs> oh no, it's swimsuits. <laughs> it's like the target now. They took your Nightman and you don't belong to them. <laughs> they left me in a world of darkness without your sexy hands, and I miss you, Nightman, so bad. <laughs> uh, stupid can't write. Charlie, let's join forces. Hello, come right in. I will. What happened to your band? Kick me out. <laughs> well, it hurts, doesn't it? It's with the uh, curtains. I'm living in a world of darkness. Right. Let's get some light in here. Oh. Whoa, what's with the spray paint, man? Uh, what's with your outfit, man? Why don't we put the curtains back? No, up? no. What is going on up here? I never know, man. This is the one that's actually like in, 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 he's really good musically. But Life of Patty's Pub is Man. actually Man. represents Charlie Charlie's Son, ability. You're a master of karate and friendship, and friendship. <laughs> for yeah. everyone. A Damon, that's it. Oh. Yeah, this is so good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. like iconic. Man. That's iconic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. the sun. Oh. <laughs> You're a master of karate and friendship for everyone. Damon, Damon. Fights around the night, man. Jumping off the sun. You gotta look at life with Patty. Alright, well, we're gonna next up. It's light, but you gotta get back on the mic too. Yeah, we'll, this yeah. is the this is the break moment. Right. I got it. I got it. Oh, this is it. Yeah. This is actually the musical ability. Give it the program, right? Please, please, please. And then he plays it later. <laughs> and he just sings about spiders to go on. And he starts singing. You're the belle of the ball, but you ain't my cup of tea. They always vote you best and show, but this down to the street. Because I like life the best. There's a place for me. It's the place I go. Can we bump this mic? No, I like that. Da da da. I like that one. Like that is fun. Let the record show the greatest place to go. Is that bar called Patty's Pub? Venerated like show, life. sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. I can't believe there was not a single show in that whole clip too. <laughs> <laughs> the radio block. God, so blessed to you. All right, perfect. Uh, what's next? What are we? What are we? Uh, what are we uh, keep going down the list of songs, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Is that what we're doing? I, mean, uh, we're gonna I will let's say, linger, let's linger a little longer on. Uh, that what? was the first time I think you were hearing that version of that. Yeah, I was about to say like. Uh, I changed it a lot. I've heard musically a lot of your songs. Yeah. Like, soon after you write them. Yeah. It's, it's been probably like at least a year since I heard you play that one. This it's one? changed a lot. A year and a half since you've heard me play it. Yeah, at least. And I've changed it a lot, yeah. yeah. I well, added, I did that like, I, I used to just strum it, I used to go. I got asked about you today. Oh. But now I go. What, like when do you think you made that change and like, how often do you like increment like 
or update your songs? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like sometimes I'll just do something to play it differently, just to feel it differently, and then I'll like it better than what it was before. Like even like changing up like the rhythm, like or like I don't know, playing something like finger style versus like. <laughs> Dark blue walls, white ceiling fan Feeling that I felt back then Never had to worry about a thing This is like a look into my bedroom at night while I'm just playing my music, like just messing around. So like... I already have a look at you, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so this one, I had this like, I learned this picking pattern for a song by a a a Adrian, Adrian Lenker, who's like amazing singer-songwriter, uh, Big Thief, that band, if you know, she's like the songwriter for that band, lead like vocalist and everything. Um, yeah, and she has this song, uh, give me that. She has this song, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. It's called Little Not Thief? Little, what's the opposite of Thief? No, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's not a Big Thief song. Oh. It's like a... Uh, she does it in this like weird. Op she doesn't like some open tuning and does this picking pattern. So I like learned it just because I thought it sounded really pretty. And then I realized that like this picking pattern is like really nice. And just thought it would sound good on that song. Put it together and was like, oh, I like this better than the original. <laughs> better than what I used to have. And so that's how I usually play it now. Did you uh, did you actually get asked about her? Uh, I did. It, it was inspired by a conversation with a friend. Oh. That's why it's like uh, the second verse is like. I'm still always, um, I don't, geez, why are the lyrics escaping me to like all my own songs right now? I gotta like look them up. No, but it, I think it's pretty impressive that it's all memorized. So Thank you. How uh, yeah, I honestly should pull them up, because I also messed up the lyrics of that one too. It's fine, it's but whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever the heart wants what it wants. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, so, I got asked about you today, uh, like a reminder that you couldn't stay, and I didn't know what to say. I still remember how we used to lay, how you turned to me, puff up your cheeks, etc. And then the second uh, verse goes, Now it's still always a surprise when an old friend has your name memorized. So it's like that same conversation with like a friend who I mentioned this person to this friend like once or twice, but I guess... In passing? Uh, like just in conversation we were catching up and I was like, yeah, I'm seeing someone. Uh, but. Yeah, like, I guess it was clear when I talk about you, my eyes and allegory, is me and was no, it's true, I was so happy with you. Uh -huh. Like, I think that's what it was. It's like, I was actually really excited to talk about this person. Uh -huh. And that's when I was like, oh, I should, I should write a song about that. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of the progression there of, like, writing that one. That one, I cut down a lot of fat on. There were, a, there's, I have like probably twice the amount of material, like just words that I wrote, because it's just like me journaling, uh -huh. but rhyming, like do you have my journals that? rhyme. Do you have any of that? I have them here. I have them written down still. Oh, yeah. Like, Can we hear some old yeah, like one line was cut? like, yeah. yeah, there is an extended cut. In my, <laughs> in my voice the memos. Version. Version. In my voice <laughs> memos somewhere. The KXSF exclusive. <laughs> like oh, I used first. to do oh, the bridge twice, and I considered it more of a chorus than a bridge. Which is interesting, but now I think that like, I think that's like repetitive enough of a motif, no. where I don't need like a chorus. Yeah. Also, yeah, this is why I'm saying like the first one, the structure felt so simple because it's like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, but a little different end song, mm -hmm. and then this one's like verse, bridge, verse. There's no chorus, and but there is like enough where your ear wants to hear certain things because there are like motifs established. Mm -hmm. So you can still like follow along even if it's your first time hearing the song. Right. Uh, which is, I think that's like pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so some words that I wrote. Let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to read these. <laughs> <laughs> this is just your dream. Uh, our time was shorter than your screenplay. Thousands of words exchanged in haste, but like the waitress on Christmas day, it really only takes a taste. <laughs> Is that a dish? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the short screenplay like, could still be good, right? Uh, is this the, yeah, kind of a dish because like uh -huh. she was always working on the screenplay uh -huh. while we, when we were talking. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> yeah, so well, it kind right, of right was right a dish. Well, 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 yeah, More? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, these are these are cringy. Are they as all? Wait, are they all? This is <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, more, 
more than a crush, you're not disposable like that toothbrush. Because I gave her a are toothbrush. These, these are bars. These are like yeah, these are bars. <laughs> yeah. These are random bars that like I was like, this is not good. <laughs> I should not include this in the song. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, do I, I? I have one more that I would read. I guess I just wasn't ready to let someone in my life and go steady is like a rhyme that I thought was cute. But yeah, that's all I'll read from those. Keep going. Here's a diss track. Hey, go. First of all. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, great. All right. What's up next? Uh, jeez. <laughs> All right. I, I'm gonna pull up lyrics. I think. Uh. So. Next up. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to go chronologically perfectly? <clears throat> Next up is a song about my ex. I'll play this one. Is this uh, the same ex or is it a different ex? That it doesn't even count as an ex. Oh, that's that's like just a like a, a, a it's just like a, a spark that uh -huh. a like shit. yeah situation and it like you know fizzled really quickly I guess. So. It fizzled really quickly. Like it was it, like that's me with we're never we're never official <laughs> so yeah can't can't say ex to that one, uh -huh. but definitely a place in my brain and on my guitar. Uh, <laughs> so this one's about, yeah, my girlfriend in college, uh, the one that I broke up with shortly before meeting the girl that I just sang about. And I think the mindset was like, <laughs> if I take myself back, it was like, um, I felt less pressure writing the one that I just sang. Uh, versus writing this one because I like I wanted this one to be like more special almost Versus the other one. I was just kind of I was like venting and then I ended up liking how it sounded and was like Oh, this is again. I'm just like oh, I actually like this. Let's I consider this a song, you know um, This one was like I sat down. Oh, I was flying to New York. That's it. Yes That's that's why this is a funny one. So it's called lavender skies and I was getting on my first flight to New York City to see uh, my old friends from college, including my ex-girlfriend from college, and out of the window of the plane, I remember it was like the sunset and the sky was kind of purple, and uh, she always smelled like lavender, shampoo, like perfume, that was like her scent, and like, I think like lavender was just like, I don't know, that color, that word, I guess like NYU, purple, all that stuff. So I looked outside, I saw the sky uh, being like lavender colored, and I was looking through old photos. I was getting like very nostalgic, like I'm about to go back to New York. I was scrolling through old photos of, uh, of my like friends from college, and I was just getting like, I don't know, I was getting like choked up. And I had this line that I saved probably before I even wrote my before I even wrote the first song, uh, smile lines that I had saved for later of the concept of like taking photos of good times when you're smiling, when you're happy. Uh, and I just like like the idea of like, instead of like smiles that I save for later, like smile lines that I save for later. I don't know, I, I liked it. So I had that line. And so I, on the plane, I wrote, I'm like looking through old photos. I write down the lyrics, warming up my phone screen with smile lines that I had saved for later as gently tinted sunbeams passing on from here to the equator. And I was like, whoa, I like that. Bars. Yeah, I, I was just like, I really like that. And so I spent the rest of that flight, it was like a red eye, I was like up all night. I spent the entire night just like, also I think the isolation of just being on a plane and having nothing to do really helps get stuff out. Uh, I actually have written quite a lot of lyrics on planes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, <clears throat> that's how this one started. I think I'll just play it. Uh, and it's, I think the story adds a lot to that one for me, so I hope that it comes across in the plane. Alright, I'll just start it off. Hopefully What's the song I, called again? This one's called Lavender Skies. Lavender Skies. Or 
warming up my phone screen with smile lines that I had saved for later. As gently tinted sunbeams passing on from here to the equator. A shade I fell in love with, can't shed it from my mind. That hue of purple comforts me, though you are far behind. Lavender skies, oh lavender skies, I fly. Lavender skies, oh lavender skies, I fly. Those nights we spent together. With friends and drinks and laughs and with goo chirping. Like dusk, they were that color that paints over the earth, though I am certain. A flower's name forever, your set of freckled skin. That hue of purple cultivates sweet memories. Yeah, I, I love the. Yeah, it's a nice flick. Yeah. yeah, and then like, like a little bass solo almost. I just love that. That was a really cool moment there. My mom says so sweet, love it. Uh, Aww. Um, Hello, Mom Seiji. Do you have any? Uh, Lyrics to this one, my friend Kaushik says he wants more cringe. Uh, Shout out oh. to my friend Kaushik. Oh, do I, have more, <laughs> do I have more cringe for this one? 
Um. Oh, he liked the he liked he, he liked the like background of like. Uh, you know, I have. I was trying to do like. Oh, I have a. Wow, I forgot about this one. This is kind of cool. So, purple is red and blue. No kidding. So I. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a line that I wrote here. Uh, like, when I was trying to talk about dusk, I was trying to get dusk in there somewhere because I was literally flying at dusk, right, or something. Uh, so like like dusk, they were that color that paints over the earth. Well, I'm certain. Like my memories are are that color purple, is what I'm saying. But I tried to do something else with dusk, which was like redwoods wrapped in blue air, or the color of dusk or something. So I had that idea. Um, some words I write, I never read, leaving them blue. I was trying to do red and blue. Some uh, words I write ne are never red, leaving them blue. Something like that. Uh, so I was trying to do a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Never made the cut, though. Love in the skies, love in disguise, <laughs> laughter in size. I had a lot of riffs on that. There's less cringe here. For when you're like writing these songs, do you do it like on your phone, your notes app? Each each song gets a different page. Or each song gets its own note entry, mm -hmm. pretty much. I have them all like so. I use Google Keep, so I have them like tagged. Sorry, plug like, that again. Google what? <laughs> 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 I actually didn't know Google Keep is a like a user facing feature. Like we, I use it internally for just like keeping notes. Oh really? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I use it. This is my main uh, note taking app. It's I also your main use note taking app for personal. Uh huh. And you'd for say you're work. satisfied with the user experience? Yeah. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, like Google. For work? No, it's definitely. Not. Don't say that. It's not working. Really well. Barbed you by two Google employees. Mm. <laughs> Won't well, speak on that. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I have them like tagged for like, you know, this is song number five. I actually have. Eight songs in here that I label as songs, but I only consider five of them real. I have like some joke ones too. You heard the joke one. You heard a joke one. Remember the remember the voting song. You remember the voting song? I don't even know if I know how to play it. It's, yeah, a, it's a voting song. Yeah, it was around yeah, the time of the election. Yeah. 2020, uh, 2020 November vibes. <laughs> Let me see if I remember. Oh, the twenty twenty. Oh, a, a real election. <laughs> Presidential. Is this gonna give like schoolhouse rock vibes? Or <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I, I have to really remember how this one goes. Oh, is it is it is it pro voting or anti voting? Voting for something stupid. Yes. Voting for something dumb. Yes. Voting for something stupid. I just gotta vote. So I'm voting. I'm voting for Kanye yes. West. <laughs> voting for Kanye fucking West. Voting for Kanye West. Cause he's the only one that I trust to pull us from the dust. All I hear is la 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 di da la 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 di da. Please calm down now. It's just a joke. Cause I didn't even fucking vote. No, I voted, I voted. It's just, it's just, no, that's okay. <laughs> but that last line, I cannot sing without laughing. Uh -huh. Did you vote for Kanye? I'm I, 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 I voted for someone. Yeah. I got you, Richie. We're based at Kanye. Alright, I realize we didn't do any of the, um, we didn't do any of the underwriters yesterday, so we need to catch up on that. So, do you want to read the anti-AAPI hate one? Or Richie, would, Arjun, would you like to stand against the yeah, AAPI hate today? Or, oh, or, what am I reading now? You, you gotta read this into the microphone. Okay, well, I don't know, I don't have a very good, like, narration Go for it, everyone has a good narration voice. Then, uh, uh, yeah, 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 just right. save from your heart. Am I reading both of them, or just one? Yeah, give my voice you, just, you read both of them, uh, unless you only care about 50%. Oh, no, no, of course not. I just wasn't sure if like, the second part was like, save for another, another no, 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 section no. of the I mean, show. it's okay if you don't believe in it, then. 
Oh no, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. 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 It's it's legendary. You're like painting in a bad <laughs> light right now. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this right here is a PSA on anti hate. Anti hate campaign. KXSF is horrified and saddened by the acts of violence, bigotry, and hate targeting our AAPI brothers and sisters. We condemn these despicable acts and stand with our Asian American Pacific Islander communities in activity in ac actively combating the prejudices that fuel it. Together, let's raise our voices and work to encourage change through collective action. For more info, go to kxsf.fm slash kxsf at. KXSF is anti-hate. San Francisco Community Radio condemns all acts of violence, bigotry, and hate aimed at our marginalized neighbors. We vow to actively combat <laughs> prejudice by using our unique broadcasting and digital platforms to raise our voices in support of change through collective action. Help us shape a better future. For more info, go to kxsf.fm slash kxsfacts. Um, you know, also thank some of our KXSF contributors. Support for KXSF San Francisco Community Radio is provided by Babylon Burning, San Francisco's oldest screen printer. Babylon Burning is a San Francisco legacy business offering full service screen printing for your band or company. Located in San Francisco Soma District at 63 Bluxom Street, Babylon Burning has served the Bay Area since 1976. Learn more at their website at babylontee.com. That's babylontee.com. Thanks for supporting KXSF 102.5 FM, San Francisco. We gotta read two. Oh, also. <laughs> Actually, we really have to read four. I mean, I'll get out of the way. Uh, okay. Maybe Richie. Maybe Richie can do one. Yeah. What was the first one? Babylon. 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 Support uh, for KXFS comes from Mr. Music Head, the ultimate music gift shop serving Los Angeles and the world since 1998. Mr. Music Head specializes in a variety of media celebrating music, including paintings, photos, drawings, sculptures, prints, and concert posters. Order online or schedule an appointment to visit their Sunset Boulevard location at mrmusichead.com. Thanks for supporting KXFF, San Francisco Community Radio. Yeah, you have to okay. read two okay. more. What was, okay. the, what was the one that Richie just read? Mus Mr. Music Head. Mr. Music Head. Support for KXSF also comes from the Native American Health Center, serving the California Bay Area Native population and other underserved groups in our region since 1972. NAHC offers medical, dental, and behavioral health, community wellness, and women, infant, and children services at locations in San Francisco on Cap Street or in, in the Richmond and Oakland. Uh, to learn more, visit nativehealth.org. Thanks for supporting San Francisco Community Radio. Richie, do you want to read one more? Or, Richie, do you want to do one in a funny accent? <laughs> you want me to sing one? You can sing there. Sure, yeah, I mean, how about this? Is that, is city that, Beer that Store. Oh, yeah, do sing, sing City Beer Store. City Beer Store? You could send this to them. There you go. You can pick up a good drink. Let me think. Uh, this one has a lot of notes, though, so maybe should I do another one? Oh, it's hard to read. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Do this one. I mean, yeah, I, you, we can read this one, maybe. Yeah, you could give it a I, could, I could try. Um, oh, that's like a melody. Um, city Beer Store. <laughs> city, city Beer Store. You need a beat. Underwriting for KXFS comes from City Beer Store. A welcoming community-based gathering spot to sip a beer while you browse the shelves Since 2006 Oh, City Beer Store has been at the forefront of the craft beer movement <laughs> And now their bottle shop And curated draft beer menu As we are as plus Valencia Street pop-up <laughs> what are these notes? <laughs> Plus Valencia Street pop up. I can't even read this. I think it's a, there's a Valencia taps Street and pop up. Taps and bar. Ah, taps and bar. Tuesday to Sunday. Anyways, <laughs> visit City Beer Store at 1148 Mission Street. That's between 7th and 8th. I said. Beer 
store, and you're welcome. And, uh, <laughs> and sorry, and sorry, <laughs> Sugar <laughs> Store. Sorry. <laughs> That's on the deluxe edition of his album. You have to <laughs> this is a bonus track. Yeah. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah. All right. So we've gotten through three three of the five songs you prepared, right? Yeah, I can do more. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. No, but do all five. Yeah. You want to do all five? I would love to. Give us a little. Give us a little spiel, though. Yeah, of course. Um, also, uh. Okay, so we have um, the person who was at the drawing class that you played. Do you want to tell that story? Is is either listening or not listening? Oh, hello! Thank answer. you for tuning I in. Know, I don't know if she's listening or not, but appreciate would you like to tell the story of how you ended up doing uh, this, performing a nude. Uh, uh, nude Arjun knows show. that story. You got me the gig. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want to give a shout out to Suzuki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gig was hosted by an art co-op here based in San Francisco called Syzygy. That's S Y Z Y G Y. Is that on Instagram? It is. Yeah. It's on Google Maps Syzygy. too. Syzygy Co-op. All right. Yeah. So a member of Syzygy, she hosts uh, these sessions called Sketchboard. Mm -hmm. um, I think they happen twice a month, once at Syzygy and another one at another venue called The Monument. Um, and what they do, they bring in a model who poses in the middle of the room and we have like drawing tables like just like uh, surrounding the stage area where the model poses and then we usually have like musicians playing background music in the back just to like blend to the vibes. Yeah, so Richie and I played the last gig which was I think the second week of, second weekend of June. So Jack was asking about how he can end up being a model at Sissy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I just want to beef up my portfolio. Oh, for sure. My, my modeling portfolio. I'd be happy to pass along your contact info for the person running it. Do the models ever fart? <laughs> um, I feel like if I was a nude model, that would be something like If they do, they're doing it like really quietly. Uh, they're, you know, they, they can keep it under control. They don't want to like disrupt the flow. Well, what did you play? So did you play these songs when you? We were played there? some of the songs. We did like some covers, and I think just like some improv jams as well. Yeah, we jammed. Yeah. We jammed a lot. So like the stuff that I'm playing right now, I can make into a 10 minute version. Just like keep going and like do like little soloing over or something. Oh, I do the alt versus where you did your. It's like the extended, the live edition. You know, this is the radio cut. Uh -huh. This so is the radio cut. It wasn't just the instrumental. You were singing lyrics. Oh yeah, I was singing. Yeah. I was singing lyrics. I was doing a lot of covers. I know. A so what did you cover? I know a good amount of covers. What did I cover? Yeah. Uh, what did I cover that day? I covered like a Stephen Day song. We did like um, Just the Two of Us, uh, which is like a classic. Yeah. You did uh, a Daniel Caesar song. I did as well. Best Part, Daniel Caesar. Best part. Yeah. Uh, you don't know, babe. Right? That whole thing. Mm -hmm. And you hold me. Kiss me slowly. It's the sweetest thing. Yeah, so I did like that. I know like instrumentals too, so like I did like uh River. But like as an instrumental. Yesterday, Beatles. All my troubles seem so far away. But now it looks as though they're here to stay. I mean, like, you, you could look at my list if you want of the stuff that I have, like, 
semi-ready as a cover. You know, like Blackbird, another Beatles cover. Who do you think is like your biggest musical influence in the initial opera? John Mayer. I was just learning a John Mayer song, which is insanely hard to play. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm usually learning a new song too, but this one... Which song? Edge of Desire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he does this thing while singing. Wow. Which is... I've just been practicing it. It's hard. Young and full of loving All the way to the edge of desire just a great... I don't know the lyrics either, so it's like I'm trying to think of lyrics, sing and play. It's, it's very hard right now, but it'll get there. He does a uh, young, I was fitting that young is the first word. <laughs> fitting what? That young is the first word. He dated young Taylor Swift, and she was like 18. That's true, that is what the... Cancel. 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 She was 16? No, she was not. Just a she was like a... Early 20s, right? And then he was like, I thought she was Oh, maybe she was like 19. And then he was like, Oh, was Jake John Hall? Oh, that's what I meant. Like, yeah, yes, yes. That's the song, the, the big song. Just come on. Yeah, yeah. I'll say the word. No, keep going. I like it. I hear with me. I'm not ready to play that one. That's a hard one. Uh, but it'll get there. That's, that's day three you're hearing, you know? That's day three. Three out of what? Day three of three. Day, day three of me learning that song. Yeah, no, but how, how many days will it take? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, other stuff that I've played, this is day infinity. Like, I'm just, like, you know what no, I mean? No, you just keep practicing. Like, it, it gets better. Every single thing gets better with time. Like, that's why keeping the list is important yeah, and, yeah. Not, and not forgetting things that you've learned. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good practice. that's true. That's true. Yeah. Music isn't milk. You heard it here first. <laughs> Music is not milk. Yeah, like, even musicians, not musicians. Like professional musicians <laughs> He's on just stage, like, rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you go to their concert and you hear them play old songs, and it sounds different from like their studio version. And the reason is because it's been sitting in their brain for so long, and they've been able to add so much more texture and like play it different ways. It's the same deal uh, with covers, with originals. It's all the same deal. The longer it sits in your head, just like the juicier it gets. <laughs> yeah, really. Well, well said. Well song. said. I'm a. I'm a Great with words, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. so Evidently. Is this, is this next song as juicy as the other? <laughs> this one? Let's see. What's this one? Uh, so this one, I feel like I should go out of order now. So okay. this one is the most recent song I've written, but uh, about the same ex-girlfriend in college. And this is now a year later. Was it a year later? How much time has passed now? Maybe like eight months or something, almost a year. I think it was like I was there for holidays and then this is now the summer. Uh, but this is the first time that I was gonna see that we were like going and like I was gonna spend a week there with a lot of friends uh, and she's like in a relationship now. So the thought on my mind was like, or back then at least, I don't know about right now. Uh, but the thought in my mind was definitely, can we still be friends if we're both gonna like fall in love with other people? Like, that's weird. That's That could be really hard. So this is another very slow one. Wait, this, uh, is a, this is a different ex? This is the same ex-girlfriend. Ex I only have one ex-girlfriend. I only from have one ex-girlfriend, yeah. These are all just songs about your, just the one girl. Yes. Gotcha. Well, no. Uh, except for the, except one for the girl, other one. Except for the other girl that there's songs about. Yes. <laughs> 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 but these two, I have two about this one girl. Okay. So that other one was like, Lavender Skies, very much like, I hope you're doing fine. You know, maybe it's unwise to keep thinking about this. It's like the lyrics, Our right? Our sounds like beefy, like I hope you're doing bad. So, I don't know if I have any diss tracks. <laughs> Except for the one of the three. Maybe the lyrics that yeah, I scrapped, yeah. yeah. Um, but this one, I'll just, I'll try to do it justice. How do I, how do I set the premise? So I'm in New York doing like, old things with old friends, you know, what we used to do in college, hang out, go out to dinner and stuff. Um, some thoughts in my mind were like, where do we sit at dinner? Like, can I sit next to her? Can, like, we're still friends? Is that weird? Because we're in the same friend group. Yes, so we're still yeah. friends now. But it was like, that was definitely like a big thought in my mind. So this one I wrote probably like 
after the first weekend of hanging out, we were there to spend like a whole week together. Uh -huh. um, I was staying in like a hotel. Uh, yeah, and you always sorry, you were seeing, uh, uh, like maybe you were, you were seeing someone else at the time? No, she was seeing someone, she was seeing someone else, oh, yes. Okay. So the thought in my mind was definitely like, if I think if we were both single, this thought wouldn't have been coming out, but it because was because it was cool. like, I was trying not to like, or we were both trying to like stay friends, but also not interfere or do anything like sus with like her being in a new relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like, do I sit next to you at dinner? You know, like, you, you know, you, you've been out with your friends, like a couple is going to you with going to dinner with you. You probably like save the seat next to the guy right. who has got like a girlfriend coming. Right. Uh, yeah, that sort of stuff. Um, I usually I'm, I'm like usually at the next table. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so she also liked puzzles a lot, so it's like the puzzle motif was something that I wanted to play with. Uh -huh. So this one is called Thousand Piece Puzzle, uh -huh. very much like trying to figure out this puzzle of how do we stay friends. That's, that's the TLDR of the song. <coughs> Hopefully that comes through. Hopefully you like it. Just you, Seiji. I hope you like it, especially. And this is the most recent one that I've written. I haven't written anything since then. But I have another one too that I can play after. So this is in three. someone else you should try to be happy oh you've seen me trying to I'll process this new world in the way that I always do when we separated the feeling was mutual it's not you I'm blaming we agreed to this long ago they say time would heal us What's time on these Brooklyn roads? See, I'm just afraid of when one of us falls in love again. Can we still be friends when I'm not supposed to? Take that seat next to you when we can't brush shoulders anymore. When our eyes avoid connecting, even though our hearts are no longer sore. Well, how do we do this? We supported each other, always did it together. And now that can't happen. Thought it'd be better, God, how is this better? See, I'm just afraid of when one of us falls in love again. Can we still be friends? Wonder where we'll be sitting, how long 
until that's not true. When love finds us again, can we still be friends? Very nice. What was the name of that one again? Thousand Piece Puzzle. He said, like like said it literally a thousand times. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 There's a math joke. Did you get the math joke? Do it again, do it again. Should I sing it again or just read it? Sing it again. A thousand piece puzzle. Reliving memories of one another. Nine ninety found, but the difference feels like nine hundred. Like nine hundred ninety pieces of the puzzle are found. Yeah, yeah. So there's only a difference of ten between nine ninety and a thousand. No, there's nine hundred between nine hundred. But the difference feels like yeah, nine hundred ninety plus nine hundred is a thousand. Nine hundred. <laughs> 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 math checks out. You got guys. me. Come on, man. I mean, I wouldn't call that a math degree. degree. Show. Math word. Math word play. Wait, what's the word play? Math word play. Wait, I'm not even saying. Is it just like? Are you being semantic about the definition of a joke? Wait, wait. It's just that it's. Wait, what's the joke? Like, wait, the it, joke well, is that there's not there between nine hundred ninety and a thousand. There's ten. Yeah, but, but it feels so like nine hundred. There's so it's not a joke. Okay. Well, sorry, Mr. Comic. It's a metaphor. It's a math wordplay joke. It's not even a wordplay. You're just saying it feels. You can't be. You can't be the CEO of nine hundred. Like it feels much bigger than ten. I don't That's know. That's not wordplay. Okay, I, okay, to okay. To be clear, <laughs> thank I like, you, Jack. I like the song. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> I like the song. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like that line, and it's staying. It's very core to the Despite song. Despite your criticisms, Jack. Yeah, you hate my art. Why don't you spin it's it? It's a good song. <laughs> spin on his guitar, Jack. <laughs> what would you call that? Um, not wordplay. You just you just say you're describing a feeling. No, I'm describing. Okay, but like it's I'm not describing metaphor. a puzzle. It's at least a metaphor. Yeah, it's a metaphor. At the very. I'm, I'm using the word like, so it's a simile. Is that good enough? Maybe. Feels, no, it feels. Uh, the difference. No, no, feels, no, 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 because the feeling you're you're saying that the uh, feeling therefore, is yeah. the difference, which is the metaphor. Mm -hmm. Like is there is. Uh, a, my father is an English teacher, and so is my brother. I will ask them. Yeah, I Jack. mean, wait, wait. To be clear, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that it's a good lyric. And I just call it a joke. Okay, <laughs> sorry. It's, it's, I don't mean the like is not an indicator of a simile. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Good job, Jack. Way to ruin the. Sorry, I completely derailed the song. You were uh, you were messing with the brush there. You were talking about the brush. Yeah, I wanted to ask about that. What oh, the cajon brushes? Yeah, it's just for like another texture. You get like softer. Yeah, yeah, you can rub it. Ooh. Yeah, that. Yeah. You can hear the texture. Yeah. Ooh. And for the for the viewers at home, uh, the listeners at home, it's like a, a pair of blue brushes. And imagine like a. The braided hair that the Navi used to hook up with animals in the Avatar. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. That he's hair he's holding a pair of those to, to play the ones. Can we get a freestyle by Avatar Richie? <laughs> 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 My knowledge no, of the lore is not yeah. that deep. What, no one remembers, remembers the plot of Avatar. Avatar. You don't know what the what, what what's the plot. Do you, do you know the main character of Avatar's mm -hmm. name? Sam Worthington. That's not his name. I oh, I remember Jake Sully. Jake Sully. I remember just yeah. coming the way they said. Wait, where'd you get Sam is, Worthington? Is Sam Worthington not the actor? <laughs> Oh, I don't know the actor's name. Yeah, the actor. Sorry, the actor's name was Sam Worthington. Okay, I think just made that up. Okay, that's fair. Jake Sully. He, was also, he also played Perseus in Clash of the Titans. Oh shit, he does. No swearing! This is only But like, no, but like, no, but I was not actually. Um, 
Perfect. Can't tell if he's joking. Loki, um, a thousand thieves in his drum are easy for me. <laughs> you saying I should have solved that one? Yeah, honestly, like a hundred thousand now. Okay. But you lost him in pieces. It's gotta be phonetic. What if it was like a ten piece? Phonetic. Like, it's gotta fit the thousand piece puzzle. I guess it's a a hundred thousand. A billion. <laughs> 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 Alright. Well, thousand piece puzzles are. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> no, 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 I'm trying. I'm no, I know, I know, I know. I'm joking too, I'm joking too. <laughs> Alright, bye, bye. Um, yeah, that's a fun one, though. Do you want to do your dad's Trump poem? I don't know about that. I don't know if I could read it. Is it a good poem? I don't, I mean, it rhymes. It's like A A B B the whole way down. <laughs> so then sing it. It's got structure. Okay, I can try it. I gotta think of a. Um, how about like. This is hard. Oh, okay. shit. Alright, wait, wait. Uh, the J6. Maybe I just gotta do something simpler. The J6 committee is dispensing a picture not so pretty. President Trump was in the plan to confess. He likes wordplay. He's, he's what got like me into inside, oh, is wordplay. It Trump? Jack. <laughs> it's like inside his head. Inside the Trump. Yeah. yeah what, what do you thought? What do you think of that? 
Oh, what? Bars all the way through. Oh, what? Of the title? Oh, the title, yeah. Yeah, I don't really get it, but, like, you know, I'm not going to criticize it. So <laughs> <laughs> No but political criticism? Your, your dad's also really into music, right? Yeah, he's a drummer. I grew up playing... I, do, I grew up doing this, except this guy was my father. He was your Are dad? Your dad? <laughs> but no longer? He's kind of young. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we... I got really, like, into guitar and probably good enough to jam in college, and by that time I'd moved out. So it's like a thing whenever I'm home now, I get to like jam with him. So growing up, he got me into music, and I tried to jam with him, and like he had friends over who would jam sometimes. Aww. So I got like a taste of what it f would kind of feel like or look like, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't really get into it until like leaving home and realizing like, I think I, I also, I, I didn't it. play guitar for, I played guitar for like three years growing up, and then I didn't play for five years. Aww. I just like stopped cold. And one day in college, uh, picked it up, and I was like with some coworkers at an apartment. There was a guitar lying in the corner. You played Wonderwall. I mentioned that I play. <laughs> I only know one Oasis song, and it's not Wonderwall. No, actually, I played. Um, what other Oasis? Song? I played. I'll be there. Don't look back in anger. Is one that I like. Dude, this is what I played. Yeah, I could. I could play that one. Yeah. Play it. Okay. This is a fun one. <laughs> the eye of your mind Don't you know you might find a better place to play well, You said that you'd never been But the things that you've seen slowly fade away So I start a revolution from my bed You said the brains I had went to my head Outside, summer times and moon. Stand up beside the fireplace and take that look from off your face. Oh, you ain't never gonna burn my heart out. And so Sally can wait. She knows it's far too late.
uh, do your last song? Sure. So what's the, what, the, what, are, what are we expecting here? This is uh, finale. called Can't Wait to Learn Your Name. Very much like in the state of mind of like, all right, got all this sad boy stuff out. Let's uh, write a song about meeting someone. So it's a song about wanting to meet someone. It's pretty much it. Uh, the idea for the song came from me writing a note to myself one day where I was like, do I miss being like with someone or having someone? Like, yeah, I miss that. But you know what I also miss? I miss having someone to even fantasize about being in that with. You know what I mean? Like, it's like an extra layer of like being lonely. Right. Kind of. <laughs> so, uh, this is just like, even if like we we meet and we're not dating, mm -hmm. it's, it's called can't wait to learn your name because it's just like I want to meet you so I can start like having like a fantasy. Like dreams do come true, you know. <laughs> have you been Have you been dating in terms of stuff? Uh yeah, I have been dating quite a lot. I've uh, been seeing. Uh, girl named Rose, who's really sweet. Oh, yeah. Is this like a joke? Is, is it gonna be a punchline? No, no, no. I've words? been seeing. I've been. Oh, that's oh. funny. No, I've been seeing. I've been seeing. Yeah, a girl who's really sweet. So. Uh, what's, uh, what, what have been What have been the dates? Give us some sauce. Like, what have the dates been like? Yeah, yeah, They've been good. Uh, we went to, um, a pole dancing show. <laughs> was she? <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> she, no, she honestly, took you to she, like she does pole. Yeah, she does oh, pole. she does pole dance. Yeah. Okay. Is she? Does she go to Cal? Uh, like, is she a student? Uh, no, no, no. She like works at LinkedIn. Oh. Yeah. She, and she just does it for exercise. Did you have someone in mind that you? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I went on a hazy day with the girl who did pole dancing too. Like, like, but yeah, like fun times, and... fun, fun person. Uh huh. Yeah, fun dates. Yeah. Uh, any other, any other fun dates? I've just been to a few concerts with her. We saw Goth Babe together. Goth Babe? Yeah, Goth Babe's fun. What's Goth Babe? A band. Uh huh. Are yeah. they Goth Babes? Goth Babe. <laughs> Are they Goth Babes or is it? Oh no, it's babe? just a like name, I guess. Babe. Are there women in the band? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Are they goth? No. What's the genre? <laughs> <laughs> you, should listen, you should we should play some country. Later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you should play uh, I Wanna uh, Something I Wanna Something Your Mind. I Wanna Something, I wanna something Your something Mind. Your I forgot what it's called. I wanna, I thought you were censoring yourself. I Wanna Something Your Mind. I Wanna, I wanna Help Your Mind. I Wanna Help Your Mind, definitely. Yeah, it's not mind. something I Wanna Hear from a guy named Goth. Bit. It's like, a cool song. You, you'd like it, like it, I think. I think you'd like it. Help That's like my favorite song of theirs. Don't even okay. know the title. That's how much right. I like it. Well, we'll, we'll play that after after this song. But or you, you want to take a break? You want to play it now? Do you, you, you want to take, yeah. oh, take a break? All right. Yeah. Sorry, we're gonna play Goth Babe. Oh wait, it's nine. Okay, go ahead. I want to help your mind by Goth Babe, and then after that, we'll let Richie play some out. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, so this one, like I was saying before Goth Babe, <laughs> it's called Can't Wait to Learn Your Name. Just about wanting to meet someone, so I think it's fun to end on that one a little, little more upbeat. And uh, I think you've heard this one, but I played it very like finger style. Like, uh, so like. I'm just gonna like strum it because I think it's more fun with you. So. Oh, that's. I know. 
on towards an unsung sidewalk. Emotion unrestrained. Can't wait to learn your name. Can't wait to learn your name. Thank you. Very nice. Richard. Yeah, thanks for having me, Sadie. Any, any final thoughts on this experience? That's crazy. Uh, final thoughts? I completely forgot how the bridge to that song went. <laughs> so I gotta look that okay, up now. Good, I didn't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. your number one Unfortunate. Do any here? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's fine. It still sounds good. No, sounds, I still loved it. Good. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is you. probably my second favorite song of yours. Thank, thank you. you. What's, your, what's your song ranking? Lavender Skies. <laughs> can't wait to know your name. Thousand Piece Puzzle. Uh, familiar, uh, face, familiar face, the back of my mind. The oh, back of my mind, I forgot. The back of my mind. Asked about you today. Asked about you today. Yeah, yeah, that's more memorable. Yeah, asked asked about, about I think you. asked about you is it's more memorable. Yeah. I think that's your first time. Asked about, about you mind. today. Is the parentheses? Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think the back of my mind should be the parentheses. Okay. Jack, what's your ranking? No, I don't. I, I don't want to like rank all of them, but yeah. Those are my two favorites. Do no disguise. Can't wait. Those are also my two favorite. The two that I. Did at Megan Fu's open mic. Yeah, Shout out yeah. Megan Fu. Our friend. She uh, was listening earlier. She texted. She was. Oh, sick. oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right here. And Arjun, do you do any songwriting, or is it just uh, <laughs> just supporting Richie for you? I don't do too much songwriting myself. No, I do like percussion accompaniment. Then there's uh -huh. another friend of mine I like work on stuff with back at Sisigy. Sisigy. Like, yeah. yeah, the art club. Which we yeah, which we plugged. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to plug your socials? Do you want to? Where can people find your music? Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh. I mean, you could do yours first while I'm packing up. Yeah, I have, so my Instagram is rjams, A-R underscore jams, J-A-M-S. Uh, my Instagram is Richie Messina, Richie dot Messina, just my name, Richie dot Messina, R-I-C. Do you find your music on any platforms or on SoundCloud? Not yet, that's on the to-do list for sure. Do you have uploaded sure. SoundCloud at all? Yeah, man. No, I, ha I have like... Get it out there. So the... The thousand piece puzzle I've never even recorded. I have like a voice memo of that. Uh -huh. I don't have like any you, logic pro sessions you or anything. You said like you did not and you did not play it at the open mic. And I did not play that one at the open mic. So this is the first time like the world is hearing it. It's probably the first time you heard that one. Yeah, this is the like grand debut. Which is yeah. why he was so confused. Yeah, yeah. But you have a song. <laughs> yeah. for her? Well I was especially at the start, like Jack, very thank you, like very supportive friend, very like much like it, I think at the start it takes like positive feedback in order to want to share with more people so definitely start with like started sharing with my friends first and then after getting like positive feedback from like Jack and support I mean for being here today too just like helps with the energy so thank you Jack what's that song that you guys did the Wasi song uh, uh talking to myself I oh yeah 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 I think that's a cute little uh, outro but at least you can you can upload this to your uh you can upload this to SoundCloud. I mean, you got the wall floor. Yeah, I do. Them, I do have a recording of this. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Oh yeah, Richie. You, you did a singer. cover, right, Jack? How do I find it? Well, um, what, if you, uh, how would you? What's your channel? Sprag Jacket. Sprag. Yeah. So, um, in 2020, oh, in the course of the, yeah, I'm looking for it. It's on my SoundCloud. <laughs> so that's on your SoundCloud. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah. So I plan to take a selfie every day, 2020. Yeah. Day. So over the course of 2020, I took a selfie a day and did a couple of videos, as well. I made this like music video, but I don't have too much music experience. So I got the help of Richie to help. And your sister as well. So here it is. Yeah. A rip guitar solo. I don't know wow, this has got radio time. What? I didn't realize it did music production. Oh, uh, I know, Richie did. But <laughs> like you wrote this? I did not write this. Not the song. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I did like the video for it. Yeah. Oh, very cool. I'm, I'm playing a lot of the instruments. Yeah. So the guitar, the keys, the drums, pretty much. Also, there's, there is a guitar solo, which I know he didn't like at first, but then I grew on it. <laughs> well, you were like, it's not in the song. And then I was like, oh, well, and then you kept it. Which I, I like. needed to, like, get uh, it Outside your pain, outside control, outside the bullshit.